Well, today it is day two of my two days of Christmas twenty twenty one. And I chosen the um what is it now what country um Ah shit it is but um never a movie Dutch language but um version what in English called Saint from Turkatin to Fucking Ten Okay known as Hint where I going to talk about when I to have a met who have a met well well it's a okay moving um We'll take a while back and I don't really for much of an hour and we'll be watching and think how it was and get on my new fort. Cool commission ticket and got a lot of more value for a minute. And the front to like a ten. And joke to buy Dick Mac. And we to buy Dick Mac. Cars, stars. Is your Jane Rubber, Bert Lubbock, Carl Len Sims, Rup Staple, Lisa Tan, E. Hatu, Jim Tubbers, Joey Van Der Tubber, Fat Pickers, Band remarkers. Yes, they name are very hard to pronounce due to a foreign language movie. Check it out. Go to the internet database and the movie under the name of Saint or Saint. But plot a horror film that the first Saint Nicholas has a murderous bishop who kidnaps and murders children where when they reach a full moon on December 5th. Well, um, <sighs> pros, cons, um, Well, the action short, um, I guess we're gonna go to the store, go to the, um, store. You know, they try to make something creative with the middle of the town, Saint Nick. And, there's some creative kills, but not really off screen. Yeah, second, a second movie in my Days of 12 days of Christmas around St. Nick. And the story is quite dark. But the story is interesting. Like I said, the, the cast is okay. And an interesting story. Cons, on the other hand, is mostly. When it comes to kills, the kills are screen off screen. You think something's going to happen, but nothing really happens. That's my biggest fall on it. And like imagination of a creative story. Yes, I imagine this has got an interesting idea, but the creative of the old story kind of fails. And there is some um, acting that could have been a lot better. And there could have been kills that could have been shown. Yeah, you got your Saint Nicholas that could have been a killer. You know, a motive that could have been there. You know, it could have been good kills. 
but he showed up, nothing really is shown. And I find this movie just falls in a, you know, to how the movie could have been. With a one on my five minute, I feel this movie had a lot of footage missing. You know, people are arrested for no reason, thinking they got the kills, but really it's another person doing the killing. Of course, it's Saint Nick. Saint Nick doesn't really, sh you know, done much, nothing really in a chance to the story. It could have been a much better movie. You know, and this is a foreign movie, also. Now, the version of what, I am not really sure that this movie was actually how it is, but is, I thought the biggest con is actually the dialogue. You know, I thought battery dogs. I mean, I wish there was actually a proper Nippon version of this film to show the true version of this film. If this movie was short in any way, you know, it would be nice to actually see the full version. They even show the St. Nicholas motive of the story. I mean, he's in a some part of the moon, but not really shown. That's what is the big letdown. Jack Nichols is supposed to be a murderous person who, you know, chose on the 5th of December who kills children. But nothing is shown. Nothing, there is no motive. I mean, hmm, they can often the scene where the young man goes through the orphanage, but he doesn't really see anything. Is he really there to kill? Is he there to kill anything or what? I feel no, it is actually a longer version of Snit or Saint or whatever you call it. But this movie is not the true version. Well, that's in my fault. Sometimes I like, you know, my cynic moving, I recommend it to those who might like this type of movie. I definitely try to watch this movie another time, but I'm not really sure if I buy watching this movie again. Those, okay, um, my overall thought of Saint from 2010, I give it a a 4 out of 10 for tr what I try to, you know, to deliver, but it's not really there. I thought this movie just fouled in a lot of level. What's the movie? You know what I'm talking about. It really no Disney kill. And the movie just fouls in a lot of level. I mean, it, it's well written. The action is there. So but um, it seems that the movie is rather you know, toned down for the English audience due to a uh, movie from the Netherlands. I'm not sure this movie was actually shot in English, but it's a also battery dubbed. So a 4 out of 10 for this. Okay, um, that's it for my review on Scent on 2010 and all in what I've seen in this movie I like your thoughts in the comments give a like and anyone who might have come across my reviews for the time comment like and subscribe and until later on I wish you all to take care keep safe and I wish you all a happy Christmas and New Year what about some? See you everyone tomorrow. What? Right, what about some? Bye for now. Peace.